If you have your sights set on an urban experience, traffic tie-ups and pricey parking need not dissuade you. The MBTA operates five ferries that traverse Boston Harbor, including this one from Hingham, where, once on board, the 40-minute trip to Rose Wharf is a pleasurable journey. Driving in with all the kids, they were like glued to the window the whole time. It was very cool, especially with the little ones, like seeing the boats and stuff. Brooke Hoffman has lived in Braintree for 10 years, but this was his first time riding the ferry to Boston with his family. That was awesome. I've never seen Boston from this angle. Like all other MBTA transit, kids under 11 ride free. What do you guys want to go see first? To provide a convenient schedule for commuters, the ferry departs each dock 18 times a day on weekdays on this route alone. We have a special day today. We're going to the aquarium. Marshfield's Vicki McPherson and her granddaughter Ray traded in traffic for an aquatic adventure. We've done it a couple times. I did it with my other granddaughter. We went to the aquarium also. And um, we're going to go then walk into the North End for lunch. Way better than Boston traffic. Another cool way to see the city in a way you may never have before is from 50 stories high. There's nothing else like this in the city of Boston. View Boston is a 59,000 square foot observatory covering the top three floors of the Prudential Center. Rebecca Stoddard is vice president of marketing for BXP, the building's owners. This is a curated experience. It's meant to really show visitors what a true Bostonian would want you to experience visiting this city. For 50 years, this space was home to Top of the Hub Restaurant and the Skywalk Observatory, which closed in 2020, just before the pandemic. BXP decided not to renew those leases in favor of this development. The observatory experience here at Prudential Center was much loved. We wanted to create a place where those individuals could come back and celebrate those memories and create new memories. Visitors are encouraged to start at the top and work their way down. So you're really getting a macro to micro experience of the city. On the 52nd floor, there's an indoor observation area with 360 degree panoramic views. Throughout the experience, there's a number of experiential exhibits where you learn about the different neighborhoods and you're able to collect and create an itinerary. The 51st floor is home to a 10,000 square foot outdoor roof deck and lounge. The Stratus Indoor Outdoor Lounge features the tallest outdoor roof deck in all of New England on all four sides of the Prudential Tower. One floor down, there's another dining destination, the Beacon Bistro, plus an immersive theater with a 270-degree screen and a 3D model of the city. It has a projection show on the back of the model, which features different experiences in Boston. At the finale, visitors are emailed the itinerary they built along the way. Our goal was to develop the most amazing view experience in the city. From the projection screen to youthful screams of delight. Back near the waterfront along the Rose Kennedy Greenway, the familiar Rings Fountain. Quick way for the whole family to cool off on a hot day. Another cool way to spend a summer day is along Atlantic Wharf, listening to the soulful sounds of the talented musicians from Berkeley College of Music. Since I was a kid, I just uh, started to sing really naturally. Being on stage was really making me feel happy. Natasha Janae, whose stage name is Tasha and her band, are among the students, faculty, and alumni performing for the free concert series that runs through September. I'm really excited about it. I was kind of looking forward to it to see if people would stop. The shows are scattered throughout Greater Boston, giving musicians access to new audiences and opportunities to develop their craft. But depending on the reaction of the audience, then I'm gonna go on another song or I'm gonna stay on this one longer. I'm also learning. It's also a bit of a serenade for the senses of fans, new admirers, and just passers-by alike. I just love to play for people. And as Ted mentioned, Berkeley Summer in the City has outdoor performances through September, multiple venues throughout Boston. More information about that on our website. And back to View Boston, visitors have unlimited time up there, but you do have to purchase a ticket in order to get into any of the restaurants. And again, for more information, check out our website. Up next, the view from the South Shore.